Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia, AKA Teacup Simmer, and this is another part of our niche series. And we are back in the Deadly Hills. And we're here with our tribe who is having a, a tough time. They are trying to survive. And of course, it, as the day turned over, our last young one from the first original tribe, Prita passed away. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's because of this gosh darn killer Barina. He did it because he was trying to save his family and lead the Barina away. And in that time, he sacrificed himself. I am so sad. <laughs> that, that, was such a, that was such a sweet thing to do because of course, everyone was slowly trying to get over to this side and protect themselves. And of course, even though Prita tried to make a sacrifice, now the youngest Takir and Kirtaku and Lurk are now surrounded by an incredibly dangerous Barina who looks like, I think, I think Kirtaku could probably do a lot of damage. It looks like two, so six. And then... Lurk could do three, so it's nine, and then Takir could take, so all three of these guys could take this out um, on their own, which I think will definitely kind of lock them together as a group to think that they can kind of take on the world. But I'm so excited to continue with these guys' story. If you guys like this series, definitely leave a like and please subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload anything about niche, warrior cats, wolf quests, planet zoo, all that jazz. And we are going to get started. I wanna see about taking care of this, but let's have Rova take out, help, try and help take out this bunny. <gasps> There are berries over here. Miana, look what we found. This is good. This is very good. Remy and um, Van Kirta were actually having a little bit of a romance, which I adore. So we're gonna have them have their own, um, their own family. I think I got rid of, or I did all of their mutations. Yeah, I did all their mutations already. I really do wanna get rid of she is a really good runner's leg in Velvet Paw, so I'm not too concerned about that. I wish that we had some horns in here. We don't really have any, and I really want some because that would make things a lot easier, especially when it comes to strength. Right now, we're very lacking in strength. The only, the only members that have a lot of strength are Kirtaku, and I'm not sure if there's anyone that he'd have good babies with. I think Verda? No, not Verda. I think he could have babies with Remy. Yeah, he could have babies with Remy and it wouldn't be too bad. Um, but I'm still not completely sure. I think Takir, he doesn't have any in here. Verda does, so I don't know, we'll see. So these guys, we're gonna try and have them have some babies. Von Kirta, we'll have you come around, try and take this out. We'll have Verda try and call for some new members. I think she'd probably be a little bit concerned because of course we are lacking in strength at the moment. And of course this trio would be incredibly proud of themselves because they are going to do their best to take out this Barina. Ooh, we got another mutation. What is it? We got Claw, yes. So let me add this. There we go, and we got ram horns. Oh, that's beautiful. So I'm more likely to add ram horns in here, which I'm very happy about. Let's see, can we come? No. I don't wanna do that, cause she won't be able to see, dang it. Okay, so we'll have her have her baby. Uh, Miana will probably be sitting here taking care of this berry bush. These guys are probably feeling themselves for having taken out that berina all in their lonesome and bringing in some new genes into the tribe. Let's skip the day. Let's have Van Kirta take care of that. Rova, let's look around. Rojo is helping out with this. Verda, let's see if you can help us out with that and see if we can get any any interesting creatures. So Lurk, Takir, let's see if you can come over here. And Venkirta. 
Let's move this way. <gasps> and we have a new Bab. And he has ram horns. Priro. Look at that. I love that. Look at him. He's so cute. And he has that two strength. Heck yeah. So he's pretty good fertility. Some good genes. Those webbed hind legs are not visible anymore. Very happy about that. So we'll get Remy to sit here and be Prego again. And I wonder if this thing will move. There you go. So now we're gonna skip the day. I want them to have a good number of kids. I think Remy and Vin, you know, Kirtaku could probably have some kids that would bring in some really nice genes. So we'll probably play around with that as well. Yay, Takir is old enough now. So we'll bring him down to start taking care of these. Rova. Tell your mom that this is incredibly helpful and provide her with, ooh, I heard something. So there's at least another, at least another healing fruit up there. Rova, can you go take that, check that out? Um, let's have Lurk come this way. Lurk will probably be a good, a good scouter. And let's have, I'm trying to see if I should have, Rojo is doing a really good job taking care of those. I think Kirtaku is probably going to want to kind of like establish themselves right around here because of course Remy and him are going to probably have some kids. I want, I want to try and do some really interesting stuff. Like I want a claw in here and I want some good hind legs in here. I want to see what we can get out of this. And Van Kirta, now that you had some two good sets of children, or we're going to have, you're going to have another kid. We're gonna see if we can toss you this way. <gasps> Baby! That is incredibly weird. Laysta? We'll probably name her Lace because of the way she looks, but look at that. That is new. Like, of all the mixes. <laughs> See, we keep finding some really interesting characters. So, like, all of our, all of our, um, all of our main line, or at least our, our creatures have, like, those really basic, like, light browns and, like, <laughs> um, tan colors and really general looking. And then you have, like, basically Racy's line of kids, which is, like, Rojo and Verda with their bright colors and, Vir and Kirtaku with his strength. And now we've got another wanderer that I'm going to have Von Kirta invite, who is blind, but... She's a tiny one, so it's fine. I and F. I don't even know. She'd actually make a great mate for Rova, to be honest. She has, we'd probably get someone with those antenna. That would be nice. Who has those antenna in there? Or who has those like really interesting little, like that's Kirtaku has that. Ugh. But Rova would probably make a good mate for her. So she's got spiky body, she has heat body, velvet paw, a wing, and some interesting hind legs. Like that's crazy. And she's almost infertile, but she could be interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm actually very interested in this. So let's see what happens with her, because this is this is new. Maybe it's like when Von Kirta decided to leave, leave his mate for the first time, he found like a brand new creature to bring into the tribe. This is so interesting. Okay, so I think that's everyone. Let's have Verda keep calling. Hopefully we'll at the very least get maybe the peacock tail out of that. I think that's what we need to get the peacock tail. Let us leave, let us look. What's the thing that you need to get a peacock tail? La 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 la. Ooh, we even got the wing in here. So we can technically have some flying nichelings. Heck yeah. Okay, so that's bat wing, barina claws. We don't want that spiky heat body. Platypus beak, bird beak, 
perform fly, collect insects, sticky tongue, nope, 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 purse snout, nope, nope. Where's that tail? Swimming tail, peacock tail. Perform call to attract wild animals 40 times. So Ver Verda could probably do that. I, I can see that happening. So we'll see, let's see what Remy's next baby will be. <gasps> no, and Miana's gone. Ooh, there's a tiny one. Oh, and there's a big one. <laughs> oh no. Lurk, why do you find the most interesting things? <laughs> Why do you always find the most interesting things? Okay, now we have new Duke Vaughn, who is, let's go with Duke. We're gonna call him Duke. K and A, nice mix, I approve. And yeah, he's slightly different than his brother. So Duke and Pre-Ro. Duke is actually very pretty. He has his mother's coloring, but he has his dad's like facial structure which is cute and then he has those horns which I really really wanted and he doesn't have the webbed hind legs heck yeah so we'll do this did I already make changes to him I did so let's have Remy try and have a baby with him um Verda let's have you do that Ooh, did we get another one yeah we got nimble fingers so let's, oh, the bunny took it. I'm sorry, Takir. Let's see if we can punish them for taking it. And I wanna see, well, we'll probably have to send Kirtaku up here to help protect everyone uh, because, of, because of it. And of course, Lurk decided to find a potentially dangerous thing on his, oh, for the love of. This is, this is why. These are the reasons, <laughs> these are the reasons why. Okay, Lesta, you need to stay over here. Yeah, we'll send you back this way. Nova, you are fine, you're protected. You're in the, yeah, these two are fine. This thing can't see them, which is good. Lurk, however, Probably needs to move over here just to be safe. Yeah. And then I think we'll move. Prito is also safe. That's good. I'm fine with that. Let's clear that out. Dova, I don't want you picking that up. And Van Kirta, we could probably still send you up that way. Oop, there's another permanent nest. We could probably move the family up that way if we wanted. But we do have a good amount of food around here. But of course, killer barina, regular barina with a tiny bab up here. Is it gonna come after us? Oh, goodness. I just moved all of our fighters. <laughs> I just moved everyone. And oh my goodness, so of course there's another one with a baby. This is interesting. So this one has 14 remaining. So we'll move Duke and Remy. So they'll be sitting right there. Rojo, you have no fighting ability. Um, let's have Surrounded. Um, who else can we send? I'm trying to see if we can, can we get Von Kirta over here? I might be able to. Let's move Takir. Yeah, these guys should be able to handle it. Takir could too, but I want him around to be able to help pick up food. <gasps> new, new human. You. What are you? Nimble fingers. And you're an albino. Prito. Bring her here. Okay. G and E. You are only partially helpful. 
well you're actually very helpful i like this you have a big snout fat head in here i'm okay with that oh oh no accidental now we really have to get her get her to the to that healing fruit okay so Silas, let's go with Sila. i'm gonna change her name Sila, who is our albino nicheling she came with Verda called. They probably will have a great relationship now because this is super interesting. You little one, we'll put down here so that you can spend time with Raimi. Because I have a feeling, I don't know why I think this, but I think they, these guys would really get along. Maybe it's because they're very distinct colors. Of course, a lot of our distinct colored nichelings are our wanderers, and our wanderers are looked after by our um, wanderer goddess. Um, so it's definitely interesting to find so many very brightly colored, intricate, like crazy looking nichelings, <laughs> like like Lesta and Sila and everyone just being like, oh yeah, that's fine, we'll just bring them in. So Raimi, I'm gonna see what, we wanna see what your baby looks like. We also wanna see if these these guys can take out this Barina. Oh no! No! Kirtaku! Do we have another save? Do we have another net thing? Oh my gosh. Oh yay, we have Donovan. I wanna call him Donovan. Donovan, Donovan. Is that how you spell that? Donovan? I don't know. Donovan. That's how we're going to say it. Donovan. So Donovan is cute color. He's almost the same color as his, as his grandmother. Like he's like the cute pinkish color. Like Racy was red. So you can kind of see like the remnants of her coloring in Donovan. Oh, that's so cute. I miss her. And now he's dying. <laughs> oh no. Okay, Brito, help him out, please. Okay, so we need. We've got six left. So we'll have Lurk. And then we'll have Takir come up here to help out with this. And I want Kirtaku. Can we have. I'm trying to see who else would be able to do it. There it is. No, not close enough. Can I get Rova? Can you come up here and open it up? Move, you gosh darn thing. Um, let me see, can Sila do it? There you go. Okay, can you get there? Yeah. Yay, we saved him. <laughs> Oh goodness, now we can keep the baby. So now we have a friendly Barina that can be around and protect us and save us and think we're great. And now we have Kirtaku around for a lot longer so we can have him have another baby with Raimi. Um, let's see. Raimi, look after your sons, won't you? Duke, I don't think there's another... Okay, do you get any extra eyesight from this? You do not. We'll have you sit over there anyway. And let's open this area up. Raimi, you have to stay here. We can't have you rushing around. Rushing around all crazy like your mom. Okay. Hopefully this will help. I think we need, how much? Oh, wrong button. I think we need, how much more do we need? Tail, tail, tail. Do we need 17 more? Yeah, 17. Okay, that's not bad. So let's skip the day. Oh no. Lesta, I'm so sorry. I wonder if we can, see I don't particularly know if I wanna add wings at the moment because it's not really useful. Um, let's add, a claw in here and let's add some good eyesight and yeah that'll do the feet we can handle pretty much everything else so let's have let's see Sila there it is um 
Grova. There you go. Let's put Sila right there and Lista right there. Awesome. Prito, we'll bring you over here so you can be there as like a protector for this area of the nests. Donovan. Let's have Remy have one more baby with um, Kirtaku. Switch button. Okay. Duke, I wonder if you can do some fun stuff. Let's put you up here so we can expand this. Use that button. Um, Groho, we'll have you work on that. Let's have Van Kirta come over here so he can start helping out with those berries. Talk here. Do you think you want to look after the Berina baby? Or will Lurk do? Lurk will probably be better at it. Because Lurk is actually very good at hiding. So Lurk will probably be good at taking care of the baby. The friendly Berina who is still a child. Okay, and Kirtaku, we'll have you hide in the grass next to Raimi. Just so that you can spend some time with Donovan. Duke and Priro. I'm pretty sure, who's your dad? Why do I keep forgetting? Priro. Van Kirta. Van Kirta is your dad. Okay. Donovan is with Kirtaku, so we just want him to have another baby. Lesta, we want to see what your next your, that your baby is gonna look like. And we have a tiny, a tiny Barina baby, for Lurk to spend time with. Lurk, are you gonna do a good job? Are you gonna look after him? Make sure he doesn't get into trouble. All right, let's skip the day. Whoa. That's kind of great, if I'm going to be honest. Look at him! <laughs> oh my gosh! We pretty much have like a little moth. We have a little moth. Look at him! Rota. Yep, his name is going to be Rota. It's almost like it because his dad's name is Rova. So we have... His name is Ro. His, then there's Rova and Rota. So Rota is straight red and looks like a little moth. I adore it. We need more of these, please and thank you. Give me all of them. Okay, and Brito, can you help out please and thank you? And Van Kirta, we just need you to do that. Um, Sila. I really want to get rid of this stuff. I want to start being able to see. Yay! This this little one is back, so that's good. Oh, come on now. You. I'm sorry, Kirtaku. You have to go back into the fray. So it needs 12 hits. That's not that's not going to go well. Okay. So hopefully we can fix that. Raimi, your babies are adorable. Maybe Donovan can come help, come help out his dad. And Vonku, that's funny. He has that, he has that, um, that water body. So he looks like a little pink shark. Baby shark, do 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 baby shark. Let's see. I'm trying to think of what a name could be. Not Vonku. Vaughn. I think Vaughn works. Vaughn. So Vaughn is going to help out. Le Lesta and Rota. See, I love Rota. Can I? I really want to just get a better look at him. I know this is problematic and probably endanger the baby, but it's okay. Because we have a little moth. We have a moth in the nest. <gasps> There's a little moth. Lisa, look at the little baby you have, even though you're blind. I am in no way discouraging vision impaired individuals. Are you a giant? Are you a Barina Berry? No, I was. I wonder if they're ever going to do like killer Barina 
Like babies? That would be interesting. We have a tamed friendly Marina who's looking for food, it looks like. Ugh, okay. So I think this is where we're gonna end this part right here, you guys. It looks like we're gonna have to see if Vaughn, if Kirtaku, and it looks like the original, the original three are fighting off a of Barina with Kirtaku in his older age and Takir now old enough to take care of himself. Now they all have to try and take out another Barina in the face of even some of the youngest members. So Kirtaku is now teaching his, his son how to take out a Barina. That's adorable. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Sun rays and the